Hello everybody and welcome to Euro Channel. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist and sexologist. Prostate cancer is the leading cancer in men with roughly 90,000 radical prostatectomies performed each year in the US alone. This video might be a useful part of information of side effects doctors commonly don't talk about. It is about changes in orgasms and orgasmic experience after radical prostatectomy. I will clarify some misconceptions patients present with, what changes to expect and why they happen. I know this is not a video for everybody, so if YouTube suggested this video to you and you don't have a clue why, maybe you are interested to know more about male multiple orgasms. For this video, I did a quick search on Google Scholar. I searched for erection and erectile dysfunction and radical prostatectomy. Together, the search yielded 48,400 results. Orgasm and radical prostatectomy produced 4,700 results. These numbers show a problem. Orgasm is disregarded when it comes to common side effects of radical prostatectomy. The interest centers around erectile dysfunction. However, erection is not a standalone feature in human sexuality. It is embedded into the sexual reaction cycle. Orgasm is at least equally important, but communication is lacking and many patients are not informed at all what changes to expect after the operation, when the wounds have been healed and they want to resume sexual activity. First of all, one has to be prepared that ejaculations no longer take place. This is because the prostate and the seminal vesicles produce the seminal fluid. After their removal, so-called dry orgasms are the consequence. This means that the orgasmic feeling is present but no ejaculate. However, it is possible for urine to pass in orgasms or sexual arousal. This occurs regardless of continent status. The phenomenon has been named climacturia and it happens quite frequently. According to a study from 2011, in 1,459 men after radical prostatectomy, climacturia occurred in 44.4% three months after radical prostatectomy and was still present in 36.2% two years after the operation. It posed a major problem to 22.4% after three months and 12.1% after two years. Climacturia is embarrassing to many. It is very important to communicate with a partner about it. In my experience, most partners are very understanding. Also, orgasmic pain might be an issue. In a paper from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, they looked at 702 patients after radical prostatectomy and found that orgasmic pain was present in 12%. In a quarter of these patients, pain levels were quite severe with a degree of 6 out of 10 on the visual analog scale. During the two years of follow-up, pain levels decreased, but pain was still present. Another common misconception is that erections are necessary for orgasms, but this is not the case. Even stimulation of the flaccid penis produces orgasms. Many patients don't know that. Then there are changes in orgasmic quality. Looking at the evidence, it appears that nothing changes in about a quarter of the patients. For the remaining majority, changes are negative to varying degrees. My patients mostly report a decrease in orgasmic intensity. They describe it as a quick moment that is gone before you know it. A lack of orgasmic capability has also been reported. Very rarely though, orgasmic intensity is markedly increased after radical prostatectomy. I only recall one patient who mentioned this to me. Why this happens is unclear. It is even possible for multiple orgasms to happen. If you're interested to know more about that, please consider to watch this video. See you soon. Bye bye.